special is it to win the Golden Globe for this particular show? Well, you know, for us, we're, we were really excited about this because it's, it's a show about an international event. And it's not just international in the sense that it's not American or not British. It's international because what happened at Chernobyl impacted a, a dozen countries at a minimum, probably more. Um, and sort of showed that borders don't really care about disaster and don't care about the ruin that humans can do. Um, we were also a very international crew. Uh, we were crewed by, I mean, I think folks from about 18 different countries. So to be honored this way by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association is, uh, is an incredible honor and we're very grateful. It, it seems like we knew the headlines, but it seems like this series really told us the real story. How important was that for everyone to know how much more detail there was that we never knew about? Well, when you uncover the truth about things like this, you give people an opportunity to see how it relates to their life now and our world now. And that was kind of the point. By going a little deeper and saying this isn't just about an explosion, this is about a failure of a human system, I think people uh, were able to sort of look at this and say, yeah, we don't want this to happen again, but it very well could. So we're hoping that the show serves as a bit of a warning about what happens when people start accepting lies instead of the truth. Okay. Could I ask Jared, one, Jared a question? Uh, what was it like Sorry, for you? Sorry, I, I just wasn't paying any attention to what you're saying oh, at all. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll ask you <laughs> That's a new pretty, question. That's pretty part for the course. Yeah, I just zoned out. <laughs> how, how significant? I was watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else is, oh, Hilder, Hilder won. She did, uh, she is, uh, well, you'll, you'll talk to her, but she did yes. our, our, our score, and she did the score for Joker, so right. we're thrilled for her. But, uh, Jared, as an actor, how significant was it for you to be in this show and what the story, the story it told? Um, well, I was excited when I heard it was HBO, then I started to read Craig's scripts and um, I thought, uh, have they got the right guy? I was really excited, you know, I, it was a just fantastic material and a great opportunity. And, um, and you know, I, uh, I got to hang with Stalin um, and Emily, who had this wonderful camaraderie from, uh, from their days on Breaking the Ways, and I was a beneficiary of that as well. And, uh, it, it's great when you're working on s such incredible material, you know, it, uh, the, the, the job is a lot easier when the story is that well told. So mm -hmm. it all starts and ends for me with the script. Great. Could I ask Stellan a story? Yes, well? yes, yes. Here you go. Stellan, I'd imagine you were in Europe when this happened. Did, did, did the fact that you're involved in a show like this to, to, to tell the story in a more complex way, was that significant for you as well? Well, it was, uh, I would say that I learned a lot about what really happened yeah. by reading this script. But it was, uh, what is was important for me was to, to sort of draw the consequences of this story further. That it was not only about the, the, the potential danger of nuclear uh, energy, it was about uh, as Craig said, failure of a structure, failure of a, of a society. And, and, uh, and that is we had problems in the Soviet uh, system that made people lie to protect the system. But we have problems in the capitalist system, like in the Fukushima accident, where people lie for profit, or in Boeing disaster, you yeah. know? So, so, so it's, it's very important to point out those defects and make everybody aware of that truth is essential for our survival. You cannot deny truth. And yeah. listen a little to the scientists. I know it's a serious show, but it's a fun night, and you have to celebrate. How will you celebrate? I'm known as the Terminator. Johan and I, we like a drink, don't we? We might celebrate with a gin and tonic or two. Sounds good to me. Also, I'd like to know why you've got pizza and we haven't. Exactly. I don't know. You can have a pizza. <laughs>